Hey there, Katakanji here, and welcome back to episode number three of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we finished up Good Egg and we started on our way through Honey Hive. But in today's episode, we're going to finish up Honey Hive, do these two little missions here, maybe even make it to Bowser. Who knows? We got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to, to just have fun, fuck up, and just enjoy the game. So here we have to do our first second boss technically well I guess third if you want to consider the dino the dino uh, yeah wow I'm already fucking up it's what 30 seconds into the le fucking episode and I'm already like just stuttering can't think of what I want to say everything's just fucking going to shit I don't want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you I know what I need to do Aha. if I step on thy back I just kill you also, oh my god, are you shitting me? I thought I was in the right spot. Alright, there it is. Okay, I found the sweet spot, so now I just wait one more time. There we go. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, I need to tech... Where does this bring me exactly? Over here. Why? I don't know why this actually brings me over here. I mean, I guess, yeah, for the uh, extra health. But... We have to go over in here. We have to go meet up with the bee. So why the hell would it make us go over there? The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance yet again. Please give me all of the assistance. Oh. All right, grab the bee suit. So apparently, uh, in the U.S., we got a new bee, fucking a new, uh, what was it, a hornet? Like the murder hornet or some shit like that? Man, 2020 is looking fucking terrible so far. Hello, you nasty bug. I'm just gonna fly over you for the first one and just back. Yeah, there we go. Crush thy back. Now he's going to take off into the air. Give me them bits. Give me them bits. Alright, you gotta turn around. The first two hits are usually pretty easy. Even though I just barely clipped him on the side there. It's this one where it's a lot more difficult because he, you know, goes upside down and goes all around and everything that you fucking can hate. When it comes to a boss, he does, but... God damn it, I just missed. Are you gonna turn around? That you are. Alright, I'm ready for you. I'm not ready for you. Oh, I wasn't. I. Nope. Nope. Evade mission. Alright, come on, come on. Get the. Mario, for the love of God! Oh my god, I'm already fucking up. Alright, there it is. Get ready for him. And go! Whew. Okay. Wasn't that bad. I was just late on a lot of it. Hello, Mr. Star. The one thing that sucks about the bee suit is the fact that you can't, you know, long jump in it. But I mean, it's understandable when you consider the fact that you can fly for a solid five to seven seconds. Although, I do wish there was like a dive button or something along the lines like you have in all the other Mario games that isn't um, Galaxy 1 and 2. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, we got a hungry Luma. He's finally made his way outside. I would like to save that game. Alright, let's go back. We got two new levels. We got loop-de-loop, -loop and then flip switch. Yep. I'm actually surprised that I got the names correct, too. I was certain I was gonna fuck up flip switch, but I knew loop-de-loop. -loop. Surfing 101. I think this is the first of two of this kind in the game. I actually don't remember if this makes like a reappearance in Galaxy 2. I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but it could. Alright, let me just collect all these while I can. Can I have those? Thanks. No, I don't... Yeah, I'm a surfer. I wanted to collect those because... 
I mean, it's not. I, I played the game plenty of times. Find at the screen. Well, this isn't technically at the screen. My curse, no, my cursor. My sensor bar is not necessarily directly at my monitor. It's a little to the side. Twist to the right to turn right, twist left to turn left, hold A to accelerate. I understand how to play the game. Thank you. Yeah, see, now I can't even fucking point to get them. It's horseshit. Man, I'm doing a great job demonstrating this. Oh, look at me getting all these coins. Oh, I'm off course. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay. I think we have to beat it. Yeah, within a minute and 30. You may not even have to beat the best time in order to actually win. I think I saw a thing where somebody didn't necessarily beat it in the allotted time, but still won. So I'm pretty sure it's just play it and then just don't lose. That's the basics. Twist a little more there, Mario. Uh, nope, nope. Come on, get back on course. There you go. And then you can flick up to jump if you, uh... Because I know there's, like, a big jump, like, at the very end of the level. So it gives you, like, a lot more speed. Don't twist too much. Now nah, you gotta twist a lot more. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. No, 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 Mario, Mario, Mario. Come on, come on. This isn't hard. This is the easier version of this level. Oh, I just missed the jump. <laughs> I love how I was talking about the jump, and I still missed it. I didn't even jump there. I wasn't even trying to- No, no, you are not gonna die right now. Uh-uh. You stay on that fucking course. 10148, congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. That's pretty fucking gold, if I do say so myself. What's that in the middle? Coal? What are those black things? Is this coal? Or is the star sentient? If that's gold, what's the black? Is it coal? Is it metal? Tin? Or is it just, like, two fucking, like, completely black, like, sharpie markers or some shit placed in the eye holes? Galaxy complete. You discovered a new galaxy. We can go to Bowser. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We only hope that they are not misusing the power of the poor Grand Star. I would like to. I probably shouldn't do this every time because it's just going to waste time. Maybe like after like big levels or some shit like that I'll do it. Alright, but before we do that. Alright, so it... It looks like we'll be able to do all of these levels in this episode. Because this is another short one, then we got another decently short one. And then it would end up having to go to the first boss Bowser-ish level. Because this one's pretty easy so long as you know like a certain pattern. Yes! Sir. I did it! No, let me get it, you son of a bitch. All right, I'll just wait for you then. And then I'll launch up. I ain't got time to waste. God. Oh, Jesus. That's fine. All right, you do that. Oh, okay. And then the last few. Come on, move. Move thine ass. And done. See, it's really easy once you, like, have a specific pattern that you're just used to doing. It just becomes so easy. And in here, you just bounce on them and then you will. I love the fucking 2D Mario in the background. That's what I love about certain games. Just their backgrounds. It's, it's so nice seeing the different kinds of things that they can put in the background. Like how I just played Splatoon 2, and the Octo expansion, it has the whole... It has some of them where it's like GameCubes in the background, Wii's, I think like DS's, Game Boys, and shit like that. Here we got fucking 2D fucking Mario levels in the background. That's cool. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 400 star bits to curve the hunger pains. All right, good thing I collected a shit ton of star bits throughout the levels. Ah, uh, that's it, I'm stuffed, here we go, transform! 
And here's our first of six secret levels. Five, six? I don't remember exact amount. All right, let's do it. Hope you got a sweet tooth. We're going to Sweet Sweet Galaxy, the Rocky Road. I got so many cords on my lap. I got the fucking nunchuck cord. I got headphones cords. Fucking. I got fucking shit all over my lap. And I'm trying to fucking find a place to fucking get my fucking shoulder and elbow. And a nice comfy place to fucking control them. And everything is just going to shit over on my end. Do -do 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 -do. I almost fell in a hole. But it's okay. I'm gonna make it through this level. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot the star bits are on the side. Yeah, this is actually pretty fucking easy until you get to this part. This is when it gets a little more difficult. Because it's at a different angle. Oh, that's a backflip. But, uh... I feel like when you start playing games fast... Like, I started... Oh! Get up there! Oh my god. But, um... Because I've, like, started to do, like, races, which I hope to start doing again sooner than later, but with the whole, uh, uh, with the whole, uh, quarantine and shit, people got their lives that they gotta worry about, so I'm not gonna- What the fuck? I forgot this was a move! Oh my god, I forgot that was a move. But, uh, yeah, with that all going on, I'm not gonna bug them to be like, Hey, you gotta- we gotta do the- Nah, they got their lives. There's a difference between being in charge and then being an ass. It's a big difference. Alright. We are 12 minutes in and we only got like one more level planned up for this episode. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get through this this fast. Alright, Rosie. I'll be back with a grand star. Terrace is in here. Nah, no shit. Sorry. Had to yell at me for not pointing at the screen for half a second. Well, here's our first Bowser level, but it isn't Bowser. It is Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. I need a drink. We're going to face off against Mega Leg. Oh yeah, this. I forgot. I'm so used to dig a leg. From Mario Galaxy 2. Because I, I will admit it right now. I personally do enjoy Galaxy 2 better. I understand why people would prefer uh, Galaxy 1. Like, I'm not saying, like, Galaxy 2 is the best and yada, yada, yada. Galaxy 1 definitely has its, you know, really good qualities about it. But I think level design wise, I prefer Galaxy 2. They're, the levels in that game are just a lot more memorable to me than the ones in here. Although it probably is also that I played through Galaxy 2 a lot more than I've done one, so. <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you! Get at! Go at him, Mega Leg! Stop him with the, stop you, with the power of a grand star! I can't read English. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Is that like corkscrew, like it's showed of a dick? If it is, I don't want it anywhere near me. Keep that shit far away. Oh, I got on, thankfully. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, get on. Okay. We'll just, ah, get up, Mario. We'll just walk. I'm sorry. All right, then we'll jump past you guys. All right, rule number one, don't be dumb. <laughs> All right, now the easy part, depending on how you play it. Blow that up. All right, let's see if I can do a little bit of a skip here. Because they obviously want you to break the barrier so you can get the bullet bills over and in and shit. Oh my God, here we go. We got this shit coming up. All right, come on. We'll do this and then we'll backflip. And then, should we get it? There it is! The one that I was getting was actually following me, so it actually worked out. But yeah, you could just like, jump over it at like the right time, right angle and shit. And the bullet will follow you right over and hit into the thing. But, with that being said, we got our second grand star.
You got a grand star. We got a second one, boys. Also, I love the fucking uh, Galaxy Tune music. Especially the grand star collecting. It It's so good. I, I, I fucking love it, man. Doesn't it turn like yellow now? Yeah, now it's like piss yellow. We went from blood red to piss yellow. That's when you know you're getting good at the game. <laughs> you are no longer the blood red rank. You are now piss yellow. We got a 11 star. Gizmo's fucking around in the closet. What are you doing? Yeah. I can hear you in there. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. What are you doing in there? Stop on the wall. Please. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power in the new dome. The power is on in a new dome. The fountain. The newly opened dome is the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Okay, I won't. Welcome back. How, how was the closet? <laughs> Did you enjoy it? But yeah, um, basically what he was telling you there is the map. It will show you whenever there are um, comets in levels, which we haven't had to deal with yet, thankfully, because some of them can be pretty annoying. I'm sure those are going to be fun. I can't wait to do the 100 coins and get about like 90 to 95 of them and then die. Those are That's going to be the fucking best. But, since... Oh, 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 okay. I didn't realize that that was a little, like, sinking area. I thought I was like, oh, I just fucking, what's going on? But, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. All right, we got number nine. We got the, yeah, the space junk. Yeah, space junk and then rolling green. Well, I guess for now, we'll just do a level in space junk. Let's go to a new galaxy, new fountain, new thing. Pull star path. Um, which one? Alright, I'll be honest, this is where certain levels- Oh, it's this, okay. This is when it could start to get a little fuzzy for me. About what to do in every specific level. I know there's a level in here where I have to collect star bits. I know that much. Of course, you can do that to just get out of it. If you want to get out of it, you can just shake. I don't even need to like hold on or anything. Come on, give me that one. The fucking one that I want. Yeah, we don't have to worry about getting the star bits until we go to that one over there. For now, we gotta collect the five star pieces. I'm actually doing pretty fucking good. <laughs> Usually I fuck up on one of them. I don't know, man. Today I was having all sorts of troubles playing a bunch of different games. But the one time I started to play a single player game, because the rest of them were like online, more multiplayer s games. But the one time I play a fucking single player game today, everything's just working for me here. I don't know what it is. Today was just a single player kind of day for me, I guess. Because everything's just working. Or it's just a Mario day for me. I don't know why I did that. But thankfully, I didn't fuck myself over there. Oh, come back. Oh, wait, no, no. Actually, yeah, we'll do this. Shortcut. See you later, losers. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to grab onto that. Ow. Yeah, fuck you. Don't laugh at me. All right, here we got to free all the turds. Before I do that, I'll collect some star bits. But it do do Oh, I love this part. Oh, it only loses three times. Man. 
Mr. Mario! As a brave captain of the Toad Brigade, I already discovered the shortcut to the Power Star. Take the string Slain Star to the top of the Star Shroom. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, it's this! Where you gotta run around and you got like the five uh, stars uh, spread across the area. I think I know most of the layout. I somehow saved that. I don't know how. There we go. I don't think I can jump across, so I'm gonna play it safe. I don't remember if it's... Ew, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, Jesus. I was a little early on that one. Oops. Oh, maybe it was a little late on it, actually. I know, like, I can do this. Then I should be able to just do this and come over here. And we got this one here. And then we do a double jump for this one. And then we come back. And then we go straight across. That's what it should be, but it's not! <laughs> I'm so dumb. It looks like you should just be able to go straight across. What do you want from me, game? This is what you get for doing the game too fast. This isn't Sanic, it's Marrow. That's why. That's why. Because it is a lot further behind. Why? I, I promise you, I promise you, I'm not doing this intentionally. I promise you, I'm not fucking this up intentionally. We'll just get this one first. And then we'll jump across. <sighs> Don't you dare, Mario. There we go. Alright. I honestly was gonna be like, ah, let's just jump across, see if it works, eh, who gives a shit anymore? And then I can come over here, and there we go. That'd be all five. I'm just gonna keep shaking so I can regain my momentum. Or stop my momentum in this case. Keep shaking, there you go, alright. Now we just gotta make it safely back across. And with that, it's a straight line. There we go. We got a star. It was a bitch. And I fucked up. A lot. <sighs> that was a good episode. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What do we start today with? Seven? Six? Six? I think it was like six or seven. I'd say it's a pretty good episode. Alright, so that is gonna end it off. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on in the fountain collecting more stars, trying to figure out where the hell Bowser could be hiding, and just trying to save Peach. So thank you for watching, hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next one.